For many of us, organizing our homes is a big goal for 2010, and this morning, Angela Kelly is with a professional organizer giving us some great ideas. Hi, Ange. It's just getting Hi, started Angel. is the, the hardest step, isn't it? It really is. You just have to, you know, kind of say, you know what, this is it. This is the year I'm going to get everything organized. And someone who can help you do that is Paula Constable. She owns Stuff to be Organized, which is based out of Johnson Creek. And right now she's going to take us through um, this master closet. So good morning to you, Paula. Hi, Angela. So let's first start with clothing, uh, going through it, and when we decide to get rid of something. Right. When you're going through a closet, the first thing you want to do is just simply go through one item at a time, um, asking yourself, is this, is this something I wear? If it is, keep it. But if you come across something that maybe you haven't worn in six or 12 months, um, go ahead and take that out and have a donation box close by. We've got and just one right here. Can't get rid of that there. shirt. And keep going and keep asking yourself, Paula, Rachel doesn't want to get rid of this shirt. It's too cute. We haven't worn it in 12 months. We have oh, to okay. get rid of it. It's going to charity. Okay. Sorry. Um, and even. Angela, when you come across things that you know even have still have the tags on them, um, maybe they were a gift, but they're just not your style. Um, you can donate those or consignment shop. So I'll hand you that. To yeah, hand I mean, that over so many of us. I know, Rachel. I bet you have clothes in your closet with tags still on that you haven't worn in like a year. <laughs> maybe I do at least. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I, that's definitely mine. Mm -hmm. So consignment shop, just right. Just go through all your clothes and and. You know, if there's things that you bought that you, you bought a shirt because it was cute, but you don't have pants, but you're hanging on to it, just get rid of it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And look at the pile of shoes down there. Right. So shoes are another great thing. It, just like with clothes, you're going to sort through, um, find the matches, you know, and then even with the, like the nice shoes, grab an inexpensive plastic container, shoebox size, stick them in there. Um, and even put a label on it. Either you could do a word or you could use, take a picture of the shoes and stick that on there and, and then that stack them up. Yeah, slide right underneath there. Mm -hmm. um, also, we use our closet for more things than just clothes. I see some pictures up there. What would you do with that? Right. So these pictures, the first thing I would do, I would stick them in a container. Angela, if you could hand me a container. Okay. And just because we don't want these to fall on the floor, fall on your head, spill all over, but... Um, get those pictures together, put a label on them, and um, keep the like things together with containers. Okay, so a lot of great tips, um, but there's actually um, a system that Paula follows, and uh, there's more on her website, which we have on our website. But uh, take us through real quickly that five-step system. Sure. It's sort, take out, utilize a space or a system. Um, fill containers and then follow up. Okay, again, more on fox11online.com. We'll be back with more and with more from Paula coming up a little later. Great stuff. Thanks, Ange.